Hey guys, it's me, it's Constance with Charming Custom Crafts. And I, yep, I've got paint on my hands. One of my stop crafting during the holiday season. You guys are gonna be so bombarded by me. I don't even know what to tell you. Um, so anyway, I have another swap, and this is from Tammy. Um, I had to protect the box, so I got my hand trying not to let let her swap out. Um hit my thumb I think I hit my thumb and it's turning black um so uh this year I only had two sign up for the card swap which was hosted by Elise and of course my ornament swap I had two so what we ended up doing is just doing two and two and uh Elise said old world on card so again old world can be just about anything so I'm pretty excited to see Tammy's uh and again on my ornament swap I do a list of questions and I wanted to share, um, I know when I posted my, <coughs> when I posted my, um, <coughs> my, um, my, my videos that I would be explaining the questions. So I said on the last one that I would post, that I said that I would say what they were. So the questions I put that were going to be part of them this year was the basic. What is your name? Are you married? Do you have children? Um, those are usually my basic if you have grandkids, stuff like that. But because this year has been an unusual year, um, I did some things like uh, what did you deal with your, with your with children during lockdown? Did you find any creative ways to teach with your children? It, was there any creative outlet for you? Did you make up any new games during lockdown? If so, share one. Um, if you had any grandkids, uh, did you help during lockdown? Did you find any new creative ways to spark, uh, or did you find any spark any old pastimes uh, of your youth for uh, before electronics with the children, with the kids? Um, if so, share one. Uh, again, the questions were endless. Um, because of the fact that lockdown has kind of uh, endured uh, a lot of new things this year. And again, some of these questions were normal, like, do you have pets? Uh, and again, the idea is to take the questions answers and to pick one or several um, to create your ornament uh, for your partner. Uh, of course, what is your favorite color? Um, what was your vacation plan this year? Did you get to go or did, uh, did, did, or did you, did you get to go? Did, were you able to sneak it in? Um, did you Ben watch movies or shows? If you said yes to movies, um, this year, did, uh, what movie did you get a chance to go see? If you've been to watched at home with lockdown, um, what series did you watch? What new ones didn't you watch or did you catch up on? Um, did you watch straight to releases? Um, what was your favorite channel, your favorite movies, your favorite series? Uh, just to find ideas for people to come up with. Of course, you know, we were all like that. Um, I'm not trying to I'll be mean and put you straight to cardboard here, guys. Um, what what's your favorite hobby or hobbies with lockdown did you learn a new hobby did you pick up a new one and that's actually legit because a lot of people did start something new if you watched oh this one was my favorite did you watch the tiger king series um and this one was my favorite um was your uh what was your favorite joe exotic song um mine was here kitty kitty <laughs> i love it uh, whose side did you lean more towards? Do you believe Carol Baskin killed her husband? Why or why not? Um, during the great lockdown of 2020, what did you run out of first? God, I'm telling you, these questions just could go on and on. What did you substitute for that product if you had to? What did you buy too much of? What do you still have too much of? Did you gain the COVID-19 or did you get healthier? Uh, if so, uh, what was your healthier routine? Um, did you go on the bear hunt? And, and here we did a great bear hunt, which was teddy bears in the window. 
Uh, these lady actually taught me about the hearts. They did hearts in one area. Um, did you participate in a birthday parade, which was fun. So these, and then what was the other one? Um, how have you celebrated birthdays differently? And then the final question was 16. Um, did you uh, purchase more holiday items than normal, whether Halloween or Christmas, to bring more spirit uh, to your neighborhood or to yourself? If so, which holiday and what piece was your favorite? And I, I, I said that because, and I don't know if you guys uh, caught this or not, because, and I, I want to know, and you guys say this in the comments below, but if did you guys catch that everything sold out like super fast in stores? And when I mean super fast, I'm talking like super fast. Like even Halloween stuff sold out basically before the 1st of October. I mean like in every stores uh, for Halloween. And then even for Christmas, like every store sold out of stuff like super quick. This has been like my problem even for decorating. And, um, you know, with us settling down, I don't have to worry about weight uh, for moving. So for the first time in my life, I'm able to decorate everything in my house. And um, and this has like the, been the greatest for me because the one thing for me, um, I'm going to be able to, and I had my husband buy a bunch of new containers and buy them early because I know they're going to fly off the shelf very quickly after Christmas. Um, because of everybody buying um, buying out the stores, uh, and it happened for Halloween. I went. I needed new containers, and um, we ended up buying some new containers, but not the ones that I wanted. At the same time, I didn't get a bunch of new containers, which really upset me. Um, I bought a few, but not really, uh, because I, I prefer to uh, color coordinate my containers, um, and that is because to differentiate my holidays. And we never used to be like that, but when we started getting more and more into jump scares, um, my husband had to guess going through containers, and he got really mad when he was going through the attics. Um, but I get to, a part of the reason why it's taken me so long to get to all of this stuff and get videos and stuff up and get hot Christmas up this year. Um, last year, if you guys followed me, I had a hard time um, getting to my stuff. And pulling out because last year I just put basically up the new stuff and just nitpick through the stuff. But this year I was able to pull out basically everything, but it took me a while to get to everything. This year I'll be able to drop a room in each box so I can label the box. Oh, well, this is my bedroom. This is my family room. This is my kitchen and label the boxes that way. So that's the reason why I asked that question. Um, so tell me below. I mean, I, I'm curious. And I'm definitely curious, and if you watched uh, Tiger King series, uh, answer some of those questions. I'm sure um, anybody who's following, I mean, it's, it's some of these questions are really interesting. What did you, you know, run out of first? And did you guys do a bear hunt? Did you guys have something like that? These questions were great. Uh, and I'm really disappointed I didn't have more people participate. And this is year 13, and 13 is a lucky number for us. But lo and behold, let's get to... Um, Tammy's. I'm super excited. So, um, I know when I did Tammy's, Tammy's was, uh, both girls were into purple. So they really kind of stumped me and I don't have purple. So, um, I know I just finished Tammy's box or Elise's box and she did something purple for me. Um, so I don't have anything purple. And if you guys watch my video here soon, you'll see that. So, um, I, it's hard for me to find purple, um, let alone, um, one of my trees this year is blue. So it's really hard to find certain colors. I mean, and it's weird because Walmart really didn't have a whole lot of uh, particular colors this year, and they're usually famous for that. Um, yeah, it was a very interesting year. I don't know if it's because of being more or less locked down to not a lot of stuff coming from different countries. Anyway, so let me get Tammy. Um, so, ooh, Tammy. See, Tammy, I love it, I love it. Tammy, I know she said she does cross stitch, and I almost did cross stitch for her, but I suck. <laughs> I mean, I could cross stitch, but how many of you out there can do that pencil line cross stitch? I mean, I would have totally failed now. Um, I can't do that. I can cross stitch, but nowhere not that. I mean, that looks like it's been hand drawn on there. 
And I just, I can't do that. And I, I can barely read that only because I have bad eyes. But that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And I, I got to say, that's gorgeous. That's going to look so, so beautiful on my tree. And, and I know the ladies there, they, they kept telling me, they said, there's no way that our stuff is going to look as beautiful as mine. And I just, I hope Tammy, I actually shared um, mine with her already. And um, I am hoping Elise wants me to go ahead and release her video. Um, and that is because mine are late. This is the first year in 13 years that I actually missed my own deadline. Um, and that is because if it can go wrong, it will go wrong. This is 2020. Everything's crap. Um, and we got to the post office and I was three minutes late. And it would have hit just in time for Christmas today. And then um, I went to go mail it on Monday. And my neighbor's daughter that I'd never met, and I call it the Flanders family. Um, yeah, they're the neighbors that I don't like. Absolutely do not like. And I never met her. She was super nice, and we played Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus and Rudolph and Bumble and the Grinch on Sunday. And we invited 3,000 people and only had five boys and two mamas and a few neighbors that walked by that caught us. Um... You know, and it was really disappointing. We invited like 3,000 neighborhood houses, and it was really sad. And maybe because it was COVID. Um, and then, of course, I only gave like a couple day notice. But again, it just locked up with everything going on. And if you keep up with the videos that I've been, I'm going to push out here, you're going to understand with uh, the new doors in the house being finished, trying to finish up stuff and staying in the house. Um, and a lot of that you won't get to see because it's going to be dark, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's been a roller coaster year, a year and a half and it, it's paid off. I mean, it's slowly getting done, but it, it looks beautiful. So, but yeah, Tammy, you did an absolutely beautiful job and I don't want you to feel like that, that I do such a good job, but Tammy's, Tammy's ornament. And again, I shared it with her early. She don't get to see the goodies in her box. Tam, uh, Elise gave me a goodies, and I, I, I filled their boxes um, full of about $200 worth of scrapbooking stuff. Anywhere from stamps from La La Land to um, uh, is it Gilda. I know I, I'm saying there's some of the stuff wrong, but there's lots of brand new stamps, a few used stamps. But paper and everything else, they'll have plenty of stuff to play with for a whole year. Um, but these two ladies have stuck with me and put something up anytime I needed it. And they're the only ones who, who signed up. And um, I wanted them to know I appreciated it. So I gave them about two, 200, between 200 and $250 worth of material um, to last for another year. Um, and I, I wanted to tell them thank you. So um, they're going to be greatly surprised with what's in the box. And... I put a bunch of other little stuff in there um, to help with that from flowers to um, stickers and gems and lace and trims in there. So they're going to be really happy when they open the box and they're going to see this video and go, holy crap. And um, Tammy, you're, you're hearing me say this. So, um, yeah, you're going to enjoy the box. Um, I know Tammy doesn't have a lot, so she's going to absolutely love that box. Um, but yeah, Tammy, I don't know what you think, but if you guys see Tammy's video, I stepped outside the box. And when you see my yard video, um, I did a little twisted version to Tammy's. <laughs> um, so I had a little fun with Tammy's, but one of Tammy's answers was horror movies. And I've been watching a lot of the different versions of, of um, the Christmas Carol. So she said she, she's a horror movie nut and so am I. So I stepped outside the box, and if you guys have not seen me make um, my little skeletons, um, I know I I do the little fairies, but this is nowhere near that. It's similar, but it's not. But these are my like skeletons that I make, but I made it differently. So it's it's very close to what I did at Halloween, but it's a twisted version of Jacob Marley horror movie style. And she absolutely loved it. And she's looking forward to getting it. She's not telling her husband and her daughter. So, um, 
She said she's going to keep it up year round. But uh, yeah, I ended up doing two for her because I just lost their uh, grandmother or her grandmother-in-law, her husband's grandmother, because she was 107 years old and um, COVID actually got to her. I can imagine making it to 107 and then um, the one thing that gets you in is COVID. So it's pretty sad. So um, normally I don't do two ornaments for somebody, but um, yeah, you know, I just felt like I needed to. So let me get this out of the bag. And, um, because I want to see the cards. I, I just can't do the lines. I told her she has to teach me. She goes, oh, I bet you I could do that. Uh, you could do that. I was like, no. I was tell um, I was telling my mom, I said, I wonder if I can ever do stuff like that. And I said, she goes, well, I could do a scrap or cross stitch even I asked her what kind of stuff. Oh, she meant to tell me, I wanted you, Elise and Tammy, if you're watching this video, she told me to tell both you ladies that she wanted to say thank you for helping me out and that you guys were participating and that she's making you both an ornament herself and that she will be sending it to you. Um, whether to, I told her I send it, send it directly to them. It's rather than to send it to me and then, then to you guys. So she's going to be making you guys a personalized ornament too. I was like, wow, mom. So you're even bonusing from my mom. My mom's making you guys an ornament. But uh, look, they, she even sealed the back. And I love the colors. It, to me, those are vintage Christmas and I love the material. So that's amazing. So let me see her card. Wow, look at that. Tammy, that's the colors of my bedroom. And it matches my bedroom tree. Wait until you guys see that video. It's got sticky gems. Now, if you guys don't know that Tammy actually started following me because I have a brother scan and cut. Um, well, I started with a brother scan and cut, and then I have a brother design and cut now. And so she's like all over me to get back into my machine. And I told her, I said, let me get, let me get through Christmas, and I will definitely be getting back to it. But... I know she had to pull this design do um because i know she has the design and cut so she's like on me she's like you need to get back into it <laughs> so i got a lot of people even on youtube going nobody does it too much on on does a uh, brother and a lot of people have been on me about getting back to it that follow me because of the design and cut so um yeah they've been on me like yeah and i was like okay okay <laughs> so uh yeah there you go i mean that's that's absolutely beautiful i love that design you know, you could probably use that for different branches. I'm sitting there going, man, that could be cool. I can, I could, oh, we'll have to come up with different ways to use that design for different things. So if you turn that upside down. Girl, you can turn this into like Santa's beard. Oh man, I can, give me some time and I'll come up with another way to use that design for other things. Oh, for, shh, girl. You can use it for a star. You can use it for a star and put a, like a box in the middle or something. See, I tell you, I think too much. And then she did like a speckle paint around the edges. I love that. But those are the colors of my bedroom for sure. And the pearls and gems. No gems, sticky gems. That is beautiful. Wait until you see my bedroom. That's definitely my bedroom color because that's like Tuscan. And it says, concept, may your, may your Christmas be cozy, warm, and bright. From Tammy, Charming Custom Crafts Gifts Exchange 2020. Tammy's card creation. I love it. Her little emblem on the back. Everybody gets into what I... I always tell people, put something on the back so it's memorable. It's kind of like your hallmark. I absolutely love that. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much, ladies. It means so much that somebody actually signed up. And that's why I do things for everybody. And I'm really appreciative. And I love ornaments. I love handmade ornaments. And they last forever. So I can't thank you guys enough for participating in my ornament swap. And that's why I wanted to say thank you. That almost looks like a birdie coming into the tree. That's what I'm going to look at. And let's go put that one on it. Let me take a picture of it. We're going to take a picture of it. I always take double pictures. I'm going to get a close-up of it. I'm going to get a close-up. Mm 
Who can do that work, right? I can do that. How many of you guys can cross stitch out there? Let's put this over and let's get a picture of our card. So my brick came in. My uh, high school brick. I paid for a brick from my high school. Paid for it months ago and it came in today. How weird is that on Christmas Eve? Rosie, she's so cute. Today is my second, oh, this doggy's 12th birthday. Rose will be 14 on January 6th. And then my high school brick. That's actually a brick from my high school. Sad, I paid 20 bucks for it. It cost them $15.09 to mail it to me. How horrible is that? Poor babies. Or poor P PTA. Okay, I'm gonna put the phone down for just a second so I can put a hook on it. Got me a hook. Let's see where we can put it on the tree. Let's see if we can get it up in here. See, there we go. Take a snapshot. Looks so pretty on the tree. I'll have to come out just a little bit. I don't want to come out too much. Here we go. Look how beautiful. And when I do uh, my picture of the video of the house, I'll be able to share the whole thing. And I'll zoom in on it then. Thanks, guys.